Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Grape Escapes by Cold Storage with me, Fiona Stevens, the beer, wine and spirits buyer for the group. Now this week we've got a really interesting topic. So Cabernet Sauvignon is one of our most sought after grape varieties. And what I thought might be interesting because we have quite a lot of Chilean options and quite a lot of Australian ones in the range is just to take four wines that are similar price point two Chilean and two Australian, compare them within their own country and then compare them to each other as well, just to give you an idea of their differences in style. I hope you enjoy this episode. First on my list, we've got a really great wine from Conciatoro and they're a really famous brand, Cassiero del Diablo. Now this is their Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon, so this is above that entry level. Um, and that means it's had a little bit of um, oak aging in American oak, just to give it a little bit more um, complexity and some spicy notes in there as well. Um, now this is a great brand, um, it's quite an interesting story, so the Diablo is referring to the devil and there's a legend about uh, a devil in their cellars uh, which was made up to try and ward off people that were trying to steal the wines. Now they are consistent year on year, they have lots of awards, they um, source their grapes from right across the Central Valley in Chile and the Central Valley is quite a long region with the Andes on one side and the Pacific Ocean on the other and that means that they can source grapes from all over to really replicate that sort of house style year on year. And this is a slightly more medium bodied style of um, Cabernet Sauvignon compared to the other ones we're going to come to. Bursting with sort of juicy blackberry and blackcurrant notes, it's got this sort of green capsicum note which you often get in Chilean uh, wines which just gives it some freshness um, and then it's just got these really fine easy tannins as well. It's really versatile, it's great with um, sort of roasted red meats and also you could have this with sort of strong cheeses if you wanted as well. Normally only $29, we've got it on offer at the moment for $24.50 and you'll really enjoy this. Next up, we've got the Terra Vega Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Now the Terra Vega range has become a sort of classic and a real go-to for our customers over the years. Now they're made for us actually by Louis Felipe Edwards and that company um, are really, really great. They've got lots of own, their own vineyards. They're very, very uh, careful about their selection of grapes. This is selected from the Colchagua region. So um, it's a particular area within the Central Valley, um, but unlike the previous ones, it, the grapes just come from that region. Now it's got a Mediterranean climate, so there's lots of warmth, so we get some really lovely juicy fruit character, but we've also got that influence of the Pacific Ocean, which really keeps the freshness there and stops the wine from being really heavy and uh, you know almost too sweet in its fruit profile. Now this is a slightly more full-bodied uh, one than the previous Cassiero del Diablo. It's got smoky dark cherry notes, black currant. It's also got this lovely almost kind of cedar character to it as well and tobacco leaf which is coming from around eight months aging in oak which is why it's the Reserva range. Um, and it's got this deliciously long, smooth finish. Very versatile, you could pair this with all different types of steak, a ribeye would be lovely, um, and also things like burgers as well. Now, this is normally $28, it's now 24 for you at the moment, and I really hope you enjoy it. Next on the list, we're moving to um, Australia, so we're getting slightly more powerful uh, wines now, and we're going to Robert Oatley and their signature series, Margaret River, so Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, Margaret River is really interesting because it's got a lot of uh, maritime influence from the Indian Ocean, and that means that we, although we've got the heat, we're in Australia, uh, we're also bringing that down by bringing in those cooling sea breezes. And what that does is it extends the, uh, the ripening season, develops all those lovely flavors, Flavors, but it keeps all that freshness and elegance as well. Now, Larry Cherubino is the winemaker behind this. He's legendary, he's won countless number of awards, so you know you're gonna get a great wine. He's very judicious in his use of oak here. So we've got 12 to 15 months in French oak, but it's just there to support the fruit, to round out the edges of Cabernet Sauvignon, which is quite a powerful style of, of grape. Um, and it's also there just to give some little delicate hints of um, vanilla and spice. Now with that, um, those sort of oaky notes, we've also got really kind of bold, pure sort of blackcurrant and bramble fruit flavor. On the finish, we've got sort of more structured but very fine grained tannins and a really long, smooth finish. Perfect with stewed meats, great with a Sunday roast, and even better, it's normally $30, but it's down to 25 at the moment for you. Exclusive to us, a classic Margaret River Cabernet Sauvignon, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. 
Last on my list, I've got one of my favourite producers from McLaren Vale in Australia. This is uh, Darren Berg and this is their high trellis Cabernet Sauvignon. Now the Osborne family behind this have been uh, tending vines since 1912 and Chester, who is now the fourth generation person who is the winemaker behind this, a real character. He loves his um, storytelling and, and his um, names for, for uh, the, the wines. Now um, this is a real classic because it's got um, real sort of structure and power and a lot more kind of deeper fruit profile than the previous one um, because Margaret, uh, Margaret River is slightly cooler. Now this has got sort of lifted cassis notes, it's got this really lovely blueberry fruit profile as well and then it's got this delicious Chinese five spice note as well. Then behind that, we've got some real body. So this is medium to full bodied, probably a little bit closer to full. Um, and it's got really lovely, ripe, rich tannins uh, and this really long velvety finish as well. Again, it's quite versatile, but it would be particularly great with spicy dishes like uh, Szechuan beef, for example, where that fruity profile just balances out the, the spiciness of the dish as well. $30 on shelf normally, on offer at 25 at the moment. Uh, like I said, just a really fab producer and I know you'll enjoy this. Thank you for joining me this week to talk about the really popular grape Cabernet Sauvignon. Like I said, it's just a whistle stop um, tour of a couple of wines that are priced at a similar price point. Um, just to give you an idea that if you want slightly lighter styles of Cabernet Sauvignon, probably um, towards the Chilean ones. And if you want slightly heavier, we're going to Australia. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to go and look at the different Cabernet Sauvignons that are in our range. And I'll see you again next time.